Hey YouTube, this is The Art of Prepping. I was trying to film this video about my uh, fishing vest, at least one of them, and it started raining on my head. So I got inside and just threw this on the floor here just to kind of give you an idea of, you know, different things we can use these fishing vests or fly fishing vests, whatever you want to call them. They're very similar in some ways like a photographer's vest, but in some ways they're not. They're very spe specific and specified for certain uses. As you can see here, like in this pocket, there's a cotton material that's sewn on there, so you can put maybe hooks and lures of such, so you can have them readily accessible when you're fishing. Um, it has a lot of cool pockets. Uh, some of them are smaller than others. Some of them have uh, various closure types, like for example, these down here have Velcro closure, and of course you have zippers here. You also have snaps and, uh, and various D hooks and rings. So let's get on with it. So over here, you got this uh, Velcro strip here. Uh, once again, you can attach different things to that Velcro strip. Maybe you just put a lanyard there or maybe some other kind of fishing things. You have these pockets up here that are Velcro closed and, um, and they actually have pretty decent closure to them. Uh, you could definitely put a, you know, a, maybe a small first aid kit in there. Uh, and this is what the purpose of this video is, is to repurpose certain things uh, to make it so it's useful. You may be wanting to go for a day hike. Maybe it's just for a few hours and you don't want to even carry a, maybe a belt or waist pack. You know, you just want something that's very, very comfortable and you don't want no backpack and you don't want to load down the pockets of your cargo pants to the point that your, your pants are falling off. So what you can do is maybe just wear a vest as long as it's not too hot. Now this one does appear to be made mostly of cotton. It's probably 100% cotton. You can definitely at this point in time though, uh, find them in polyester uh, or different types of nylon variants. And I would definitely highly recommend that. This is, this is a fairly old uh, fishing jacket. I'd say it's probably going on about 18 to 19 years old. And back in the day, they didn't have the choices that we do now for synthetics. <clears throat> I'm not sure what brand it is, as you can see, I, uh, I had a habit when I was younger to rip out tags. I didn't like how it felt on the back of my neck, so uh, that's what I did. So basically, though, going back to the uh, vest here, we have these pockets that are Velcroed, a little D-ring here and over there. Uh, we have two pockets on this side, a bigger pocket here, and we got two small here. We've got two zipper compartments. They're actually pretty large. They go to the, to the depth of the actual jacket, and that's how it is over here on the other side. Now we open it up. We have this large zippered compartment that is actually uh, paneled out inside the uh, these flanks in the inside. And here's one here on this side. And you can see it's just a massive, massive pocket that incorporates the entirety of this under paneling. Now what's also very cool though, besides the fact that it actually zippers in the front and it has a snap closure as a redundancy, that on the back here, it has this, uh, and we'll pull out so you can see it better. This is the back. It has this almost like a triangle piece of cloth. And inside there, you have a, a very nice uh, roomy area to put maybe some other gear. It could be, a, you know, a small uh, uh, jacket or something else, a um, piece of clothing or maybe a maps or, uh, I don't know, whatever you could fit back there. So I just thought this was cool. There's definitely things like this on the market still. I just wanted to show you mine uh, that I've had for a long time, and it's still holding up. There's stains on it and all kinds of stuff, but, uh, you know, for the most part, uh, it's it's actually pretty neat. And uh, I don't wear it that much. Uh, here's this, this uh, I kind of don't know what this is for, but maybe this is just to uh, attach it maybe to a belt, or I don't know. But there's some a lot of different variations of these uh, these vests, and some people get into the photography vest and uh, maybe tactical vest, whatever we get into. But this one's a little bit more low key. I'm not saying that this doesn't look slightly tactical, but anybody that has any knowledge about fishing would see, okay, this is a fishing vest. Um, the photography vests though are kind of hit and miss. They kind of are semi tactical a lot of them now uh, more than they used to be, and. They pretty much almost even have even more pockets and even larger pockets because a lot of times they have to hold extra lens and so that requires larger pockets. And this one's just a little bit less, uh, you know, larger in form. It has smaller pockets and overall, you know, dimensions and it just seems to be a little bit more um, 
uh, a little more compact. And so I like this jacket, just wanted to share it with you. Also on the very top here, it has this, uh, another little metal D ring as it is on these, uh, these two pieces here. And uh, I don't know why we have so many D rings, but that might be just for hanging the, the vest, you know, if it got damp or needs to, you know, dry out. And so uh, overall, I give this uh, pretty much a two thumbs up. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.